This is Andy Purrawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. And for the first time, I am joined by Jamie Sheldon, the cup man to the stars. Jamie, yeah. how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Really good, really good. It's good to hear. Now, you, I know you're saying that, but I know you're also gutted that you've just missed out on all of the... We'll go with the word beef, because I can't think of something <laughs> else between Canelo's team and Billy Joe Saunders' team in the lobby. Uh, I am gutted I missed it, to be fair. But I'm blaming Rotherham United for that, mate, because I had to nip upstairs and watch, um, watch them in the relegation battle. So I missed it, but it is what it is, isn't it? I'm sure there'll be more. There'll be a lot more, I think, this week. Was it a worthwhile thing to miss? No. Not watching that football, mate, no. Uh, I, like I said, when I, went, when I went upstairs, it was totally empty. There was nobody sat around. I've gone upstairs to watch football, come back, it's full of people and carnage has happened, mate. So God knows what's happening in an hour and a half that we're missing. Obviously, Jamie, there's a lot of talk this week as to whether the fight will or will not go ahead. Yeah. Um, mostly, mostly about the ring. Just your thoughts on it, first and foremost. Uh, I think you know, we, we're a fight of this scale. You're always going to get you're always going to get these little issues and, and people trying to get in people's heads and this and other. Now, I, don't, I haven't spoke to anybody, uh, so I haven't got no official information on what's going off. Uh, from my opinion, you'll, the, the fight will go ahead, um, but. But like I said, I've got no official information. Nobody's feeding me information. Um, and like I said, there's going to be, I think that'll be, there'll be more than that just coming up this week. I think we'll probably have an incident tomorrow. There'll be some the day after and the day after. What have you made of it, though, you know, travelling out here and having to deal with this in the, in the middle of a fight week? What have you made of it from that perspective? Um, well, obviously, it's not, it's not good for parties involved, especially the fighters. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not good for them. But from, from our point of view, Billy's as cool as you like, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? I don't think I don't think you'll phase you'll phase him. Um, I think it's getting to Canelo a bit. He looked a bit hot headed from what I saw earlier on. Uh, he didn't look that impressed when he walked past us earlier. So it is what it is, mate. You've just got to kind of you get you get this. Some, sometimes you'll get it and there'll be no no incidents whatsoever, and then you get the other ones where it just goes off. So sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a bit of aggro in it just to keep it exciting. How has Billy reacted to it all from when you've spoken to him? Well, I've not actually spoke to him today. I've not, I've not seen him today. Um, like I say, I've been down with the rest of the team uh, and he's, he's just been out of the way. He's just doing what he does. He'll just be probably up there chuckling to himself, like I would imagine. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully we'll, we'll catch up with him later on. I mean, looking at it all now, as we get edged nearer towards Saturday night, how confident are you in your own opinion that we will see Billy Joe in the ring with Canelo on Saturday? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident. I think I think uh, all issues that have arisen, I think they will get resolved. Uh, and I, I think I think we will see a fight. Just your thoughts as well on John Royder. I've seen that John's travelling out here. Um, I suppose that's just in case Billy Joe didn't decide to f face Canelo. Just your thoughts on that? Well, how, how long has that been in pipeline? If it is true, because I don't know where that's come from. Because uh, like I say, I missed, a, I missed an hour and a half of action because I watched football. So... Um, I don't know how whether that were planned a long time ago or whether it's been a spur at the moment thing. Now, if it's a spur at the moment thing, I'd believe, yeah, they've panicked a little bit and thought just in case we're going to need somebody to fill in. If it's been planned a while ago, it's probably just in one of those little things just to chuck cat amongst pigeons type of thing, ruffle a few feathers for for winner or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So it, that all depends on a couple of factors involved in that, and I'm not. I'll, I'll try and see if I can dig out art on that one. Now, Jamie, I know obviously you're not the man behind the tactics on Saturday night, but heading on to the fight, heading on to what's expected from Billy Joe, is it as simple as he needs to just produce the, the career best performance from himself, or does it need to be ten times more than what more than that effectively? Do you, do you know what? Before before I come out here, I'd not, I'd not seen Billy for a while. Uh, obviously, I've been at his fights and stuff like this, and then I saw him in the gym. I saw him in the gym the other day, and he's he looked good. He, he, he showed us a lot. Well, he showed me personally because, like I said, I've not seen him. He showed me a lot of what I've not seen before. Um, and I think anybody that's facing Canelo has got to put a career best performance in and a bit more. Do you know what I mean? I know there were like people saying, "Oh, we're four rounds down before we start and this and other." So, like I say, you have got to get a career best. Uh, and like, it, he's, I'm confident in the kid. I'm re I really am confident in the kid. Do you know what I mean? I think he's got. I think he's got all the attributes to do it. It's just down to him to put it together on night. Just move backwards. I want to get your thoughts on Sonny Edwards' recent victory as well. Somebody you know very well, somebody yeah. you cornered. What did it mean yeah, for you to be able to see him win? No, do you know what it was? I was actually going to shout him out at the end of this anyway because at the end of the fight, obviously, I had the show, I had the matchroom show the day after, so I didn't really get time to, to, to speak to him. I met up for the kid. Do you know what I mean? There's, I, I said when, he, when I first bumped into him, when he first came back to Seal City as a pro, I said he'll be a world champion. Uh, and, I, and, and I was right. The, the kid's special, mate. The kid's special. And I. I I wish him all success in the world, you know what I mean? He's, he's one of them kids that I want to do well, I want him to get out of sport, all his marbles and go and enjoy his life, mate, because he deserves it.
Now talk to me about your role with that matchroom show because I know you ended up cornering a few more fighters than what you originally were signed up for. Uh, well, to be, fair, to be honest with you, the, 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 the reason I'm here is because I'm covering for somebody else. A good friend of mine, he, he's, um, he's one of the cutmen that Joe Gallagher uses. Um, and, and like I said, Billy Joe uses him as well. But through things that's gone off at home or whatever, he weren't able to make it. So I got the call, Can you, are you at the matchroom show? Yeah. Will you work with Joe Gallagher's fighters? Not a problem. Uh, and also that's how I ended up with the Billy one. So I've ended up, I was just going to the matchroom show for Craig Richards uh, and I was looking forward to a nice steady night. This time. I got the call, can I work with um, Natasha Jonas and Max Morrison? Perfect. It was a, it it a good night, mate. It was a good night. Even, even though they come up short, they all put great performances in and, uh, and, and they're good to work with as well. I've worked with them before, so it, it was a good night, mate. I mean, they came up short, but how important was he that they were always able to produce those types of performances? And kind of, especially in Marcus's and Craig Richards' position, he's elevated them further up kind of the level of fights they could have moving forward. Yeah, 100%. Well, if you go to, we'll go start with Craig Richards first. He, he were, that's what we're going to show to work with. And his stock's got to have risen a lot. Because I don't think, personally, a lot of people were expecting him to put that performance in against him. I know when I spoke to people I was working with, they were like, he's going to get stopped, he'll, he'll not be able to keep up with him, and this and other. And I think... He showed what level he's at, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for him uh, and, and Peter as well. And then obviously you've got Marcus Morrison. What a tough little, f I'm not going to swear on here, but you know where I was going with that one. Kid he is, do you know what I mean? He looked like at one point Joe could have pulled him out. Uh, he pretty much begged and pleaded uh, to stay in the fight, and he went, and he, and he, he took it the distance, do you know what I mean? And he did as good as he got, do you know what I mean? He went in there with an elite fighter, to be fair. Um, so I think, same again, I think he's going to get opportunities off back of that. Jamie, did forget to ask you about Charlie Edwards as well, Sonny's brother. What is Charlie up to these days? Uh, Charlie's out house shopping at the minute. I'll, I'll keep it simple. I've not spoken to Charlie for a couple of months, to be fair. But um, obviously, he just had a little, uh, a little girl. So he, he's enjoying a bit of uh, downtime with family. Uh, and he's, he obviously, he's, 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 um, his wife, she's from Sweden. So they're, they're looking at setting up shop abroad. Um, who can blame him? Do you know what I mean? He's... Um, I know he's away out shopping at the moment. I think he's getting a few things in place for further outline. And uh, he's looking at, obviously, when he, the, the time comes that he retires, he's, he's getting set up so he can enjoy that time. Now, you're back doing some corner work next week in Manchester once again. Dalton Smith, the return Dalton Smith yeah. against the Apple Yard. Excited to see Dalton back in there? Yeah, you, can, you can't not. You can't but love Dalton. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's a great kid. He, he's got everything. Um, and, the, and to be fair, I know the Apple Yard as well. I've worked with him quite a lot. So um, it's a, that, that's a good, it's a good, good step up for Dalton, obviously. I think he's, he's going to do business, you know what I mean? Um, but Dalton's a pleasure to work with. He's, he's, he's the ultimate professional. It's the same with working with his dad as well, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a great gym. It's, he's very family orientated. Obviously, you've got the granddad Brian in the gym, do you know what I mean? So it's a close knit little team that they've got there, do you know what I mean? So it is good to work with, and I'm excited to see Dalton back at it. Final thing, Jamie, just want to get your thoughts on Grant Smith. How much credit does he deserve for this kind of recent run of victories that's going on in the gym? Mate, I'd, I'd give Grant credit. All, I'd give Grant all the credit. Um, the, the, the fellas is. is He's a study of the game. He studies everything. Um, I, I can't imagine. He's one of them blokes that will go, he'll go to bed at night and he's probably sat up at 2 o'clock in the morning looking at opponents and this and other. And his tactics are second to none. Um, he gets quite vocal in corners as well because he's that emotionally involved with his fighters, which is a good thing. He's passionate about it. And for me, he's right up there with best coaches in the country. Do you know what I mean? And, and it's not going to be long before he's up there with best coaches in the world. Do you know what I mean? And he'll have a legacy. And his, his, his champions are just going to keep coming and coming because he, he knows how to develop a fighter and, and bring best out in them. All right, Jamie, I appreciate your time today. I'll leave you now to enjoy the rest of the sun and hopefully a successful relegation vote for yourself on the weekend. Thank you for your time and thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much.